Um, have you seen the uniforms yet? Have you guys gotten to try them on? What do you think of them? Uh, I haven't seen them, um, but uh, you know we kind of know what we're wearing. It's gonna be a lot of, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. You know, the um, it's gonna be an opportunity to kind of pay homage a little bit, and you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun to wear this. What do you think about uh, Shaq Thompson, the guy you faced before? But um, he's, he seems to be that much better this season. He had a 100-yard fumble return for a touchdown last week. Um, what do you see when you prepare for him this year versus last year? Um, you know, he's a huge playmaker. He's a he's a difference maker on that defense. Um, you know, he makes huge plays. You know, all around the ball. You know, he's a great athlete. Um, but we just got to continue to prepare, just like how we have been. Um, you know, we're not gonna change any of any of our offense for him. We just got to make sure that we execute and, uh, you know, hopefully just make better plays. How did you grade yourself after this year when you went back and watched? It? What do you think you did well and could improve on? Um, I think I did all right. You know, I missed a few throws here and there. Um, you know, I don't know a specific grade, but um, you can always get better at those kinds of things. Um, you know, we kind of, for me, it was, you know, making sure I open up to my target with my feet. You know, kind of those consistent footwork things that I've been working on for a while. Um, I got kind of lazy on some throws during that game, and um, it was effective. Not getting sacked also helps, right? I mean, uh, the return of some guys and some, some experience up front obviously helped you guys on offense. Of course. Um, you know, to have Jake back, you know, was huge for us, especially communication-wise and, and being able to kind of be all on the same page. And um, for us, he was, he was a huge huge part of our offense and we're glad yeah. to have him. Does that calm your nerves a little bit too? Like not knowing that you don't have to run for your life every play? <laughs> not necessarily. Um, you know, for me, I, I trust all those guys up front and uh, I just kind of play with the best abilities I can. Keenan's been such a big part of your, your arsenal this year. What what changes when he when he left and with the injury last year? I'm sorry? When Keenan left with the injury, oh, okay. what changed for you, if anything? It's tough. I mean, you lose such a versatile player, um, a good blocker, you know, on the perimeter. Um, you know, it's tough to say that we change our offense, but it's it's going to be hard to kind of fill that role. But we have guys here that hopefully can, um, you know, fill what, what we need, fill that void, and hopefully get things going. If you can't go this week, who do you? I'm sorry. You might have already addressed this one thing, but you know, big win against UCLA. Is it still pretty much the same here? I mean, you lose one, and it's the same way back. Yeah, you said it best. Um, you know, we gotta keep keep our mentality. You know, this this win the day mantra has always been successful for us, and um, you know, we're gonna continue to just take it one day at a time. You know, nothing changed. Our culture's still the same, and you know, we're gonna continue to prepare just like any other week. I know it's early on, you're about halfway through the season, but have you given any thought to what what happens after this year for you personally? Not really. Um, you know, I, I'm really trying to prolong it as much as I can. Um, because you know, once you start diving into those things, you know it can become a distraction, and you know there's a lot of things that kind of play into those decisions. So um, I'm waiting to the end of the year, and you know we'll make the decision as a family. With Jake back on the line, what does he add uh, to the line specifically? I mean, experience. Um, you know, communication-wise, he's huge. He he provides you know kind of a steady, steady player right there. And uh, for us, you know, he's. I mean, he comes off the ball. He's he's such an aggressive player for us, and he helps a lot in the run game and even in pass protection. Marcus, where would you rank uh, Washington's front seven with uh, some of the others you've played this year? Uh, I would say they're they're probably just like UCLA. You know, they're very athletic. They got guys that can move around. You know, Shaq. You know, those guys that that can really make plays on defense. Um, you know, for us, we just got to be aggressive again, be physical, hopefully, and, and move the move the line of scrimmage a little bit and get and get it going. Did you feel? Uh, sort of regaining rhythm and tempo that you guys might have lacked in the previous two games? For sure. I think it kind of started with our tempo. Um, you know, we really emphasized playing faster. And uh, when we get that rhythm going and uh, Coach Frost is playing uh, and we kind of feel, have a good feel of the game, you know, it really helps us out. On offense, is that on you? Are you the guy getting people up to the line and getting it going? For sure. I mean, I got to, you know, even in practice, you know, the coaches are always helping on me to make sure guys are on the line, make sure everyone's set um, and play as fast as we can. You know, that's a huge, huge asset. Why do you think you did that better against UCLA? I think for me, it was just kind of, it was overemphasized in practice. Um, you know, it was, it's tough that sometimes a loss makes you do those kinds of things. But, um, you know, for me, it really kind of helped me just kind of focus on our tempo and make sure that we can play a little faster. How much was being able to run the ball effectively, you know, a key for that? Because I mean, we've seen in years past when the, when Oregon's offense is really dominant, it's picking up six or seven yards per play on the ground. And you know, against Arizona, we know it was three and a half. So 
that return this week. Yeah, and that's, I mean, it's huge. When you kind of win first down, you get kind of short second and third down situations. That really helps your offense out. And um, for us, when we get that, that run game going, it really helps our tempo out. And um, when, we're, when we're able to play fast and we're, we're running the ball effectively, it really opens up the pass game as well. The Huskies have forced 15 turnovers, they the highest turnover ratio in the country. How important is it for you guys to keep control of the ball? I mean, it's huge, and the turnover margins are, are probably one of the, the number one stats in the deciding game. So if we can take care of the ball, um, hopefully kind of executing some of our plays, you know, we'll be successful in time.